Hello, everybody. I, I, if you just finished watching the debate like I did, I'm sure you're as proud of President Obama as I am. You know, I, I've been saying for a long time, this election presents the starkest choice in my memory. And I think the President did a wonderful job in making just how — making it clear just how stark that choice is. As President Obama explained, we believe we should build this country the old-fashioned way, not from the top down, but from the middle out. And the President made it clear, made it absolutely clear that he believes hard work should be rewarded, that accountability should be demanded, and that everyone, everyone who works at it, should have a fair shot at a better deal. I also thought the President did an excellent job in laying out his specific concrete plans for restoring the middle class, from ending tax breaks for companies that ship jobs overseas to giving tax credits to companies who bring jobs home, to preparing 100,000 new math and science teachers and training 2 million workers at our community colleges so we can continue to have the best, most productive workforce in the world. And he showed, uh, he showed his commitment to move this country forward rather than going back time and time again. We're not going back to those failed policies that gave us this great recession. Governor Romney laid out a fundamentally different philosophy. He called for a tax plan that would mean massive cuts for the wealthy, but he refused to explain how he could possibly pay for them without raising taxes on middle-class families. Instead, he just denied how big these tax cuts were. He said he wanted to continue tax breaks for oil companies, and at the same time, he criticized tax breaks that we put in place for renewable energy companies. He admitted that he'll turn Medicare into a voucher, which I was happy to see him finally admit, and he called for the repeal of Obamacare. But he didn't explain how he's going to lower health care costs, prevent discrimination against people with pre-existing conditions, or help tens of millions of American people get access to affordable health care if he does repeal Obamacare. And he talked about letting the banks write their own rules again, with no accountability. But he still didn't explain how he'd prevent another financial meltdown. Well, as the President made clear, we have seen this movie before. And we all know how it ended and how it will end again if it would occur again. It ends in a catastrophe for the middle class. It ended in the Great Recession of 2008. And the President and I are determined, absolutely determined, not to go back to that. Folks, I hope you saw what I saw tonight. Two candidates with fundamentally different visions and a fundamentally different set of values. And I hope and appreciate uh, uh, that you know just how, uh, how, how high the stakes are, that you all appreciate it. There are only 34 days left until Election Day, and we need all of you, all of you to continue to work hard and press even harder during these remaining five weeks. As you know, registration deadlines are coming up this week. Early voting has started in some states already, and it's going to start in a lot more soon. So it's critical that you make sure to vote to get your friends and your neighbors to vote, and to get folks signed up and involved. But let me close by saying thank you. We may not be able to match our opponents dollar for dollar, but I know we can outmatch them door to door because of folks like you. But most of all, I think I want to say on behalf of the President, thank you for vouching for us, for putting your reputations on the line for us, for believing, as the President does, and I do, that America's best days are ahead of us. Together, we're going to win this election, and we're going to keep moving this country forward. And again, thank you for your support. Please, go out and get folks registered, vote. Early voting is important.